One of the most impressive feats in human history is still the Apollo 11 mission, which ended in the historic landing on the lunar surface of Neil Armstrong and Edwin Buzz Aldrin on July 20th, 1969. The landing resulted from years of work, creativity, and cooperation between some of the brightest scientists and engineers. However, despite the overwhelming evidence that proves the Apollo 11 landing occurred, some people still dispute its veracity. The Conspiracy Theory There are quite a lot of conspiracy theories surrounding the 1969 Apollo 11 landing, and I'll go through a few of these theories. According to one of the speculations made concerning the Apollo 11 landing, some people have claimed that the mission was a hoax, and the footage and photographs captured on the moon were shot on a soundstage on Earth. Some have suggested that the US government staged the landing to defeat the Soviet Union in the Cold War space race, and the Apollo 11 landing was staged to divert attention from more pressing issues like the Vietnam War and the civil rights demonstrations. This theory has been spread by a small group of people who think there is a larger conspiracy at work. When Bill Casings' book, We Never Went to the Moon, America's $30 billion swindle, was published in the middle of the 1970s, the conspiracy theory first began to take off. The book made many claims such as the technology needed to set foot on the moon did not exist at this period, and that the radiation in the Van Allen belts would have killed the astronauts on their mission to the moon. Casing also argued that the footage and images captured on the moon included several inconsistencies and oddities that could only be explained by them getting filmed on a soundstage. While it is true that the Cold War context undoubtedly had an impact on the choice to launch the Apollo program, it is clear that the scientific and technological advancements made possible by the program were substantial and real. Our understanding of the moon and its formation has tremendously benefited from the scientific data gathered by the Apollo missions, and the program's technological advancements have left far-reaching impacts on different industries, including engineering, computing, and medicine. This theory has gained supporters over the years, with some people suggesting that NASA has been intentionally hiding the hoax for decades. With more individuals now doubting the veracity of the Apollo 11 landing, the advent of social media and online groups in recent years has allowed the conspiracy theory to gain more traction. One speculation that I find seemingly weird is that the American flag planted on the moon appears to be waving, despite there being no atmosphere on the moon to cause such movement. This claim, however, is easily debunked by the fact that the flagpole was meant to hold the flag in a fixed position facing outward, which gave the impression that it was waving when the astronauts moved it to insert it into the ground. The flag was also very lightweight and could move in the wind even in a vacuum. Another heavily debated claim is that there are seemingly inconsistent shadows in the photographs on the moon, which is impossible with a single light source. This claim, however, is also based on an erroneous understanding of the physics of the situation. While it is true that the sun served as the moon's primary source of light, other objects reflected light, such as the moon's surface and the astronaut spacesuits. That can result in shadows that appear inconsistent in some photos. Additionally, depending on where the camera is aimed, the moon's uneven surface could make silhouettes appear at various angles. Some people also pointed out the fact that the radiation in the Van Allen belts would have killed the astronauts en route to the moon, and that NASA has covered up the original level of radiation they got exposed to on the moon. Numerous scientific investigations have debunked this claim, demonstrating that the Apollo spacecraft quickly went through the belts while the crew were safely guarded by the spacecraft. However, NASA has published detailed information about the radiation exposure of the astronauts, and it is well established that they were exposed to higher levels of radiation than would be experienced on Earth, but not to a degree lethal or significantly harmful to the human body. The spacecraft's trajectory was carefully planned to steer clear of the radiation regions with the highest concentrations, because the radiation levels in the belts changed depending on the location and the time of day. If you thought the previous claims were outrageous, what do you think about the claims that the lunar lander's engine would have created a crater on the moon's surface? But there is no proof of this in the photographs. This claim is based on an ignorant view of the physics of the situation. 
The engine of the lunar spacecraft was designed to throttle down to a low level of power immediately before it touched down on the moon, so it did not leave a crater. Due to this, the spacecraft could gently touch down on the moon's surface without causing any damage. In addition, the lunar surface is covered in a layer of dust that can flow around objects, which could have obscured any evidence of a crater. It was also speculated that telemetry data from the Apollo 11 landing is missing, suggesting that vital details about the mission have been hidden purposefully. However, it is well documented that some of the original telemetry data got lost due to technical issues and equipment failures, and efforts have been made to recover as much of this data as possible using alternative sources. Even though some telemetry data is still missing, there is no proof to suggest that this was done on purpose to conceal vital details about the mission. Last but not least, it was claimed that the behavior of the Apollo 11 astronauts after their return to Earth is inconsistent with what was expected if they had landed on the moon. For instance, they draw attention to perceived inconsistencies in their accounts or perceived nervousness or evasiveness during interviews. These claims, however, have been thoroughly examined and debunked. And it is now clear that the astronauts' actions were perfectly compatible with what would be expected from anyone who had endured such a novel and demanding experience. The Evidence There is overwhelming evidence supporting the reality of the Apollo 11 landing, including physical artifacts, photographs, and scientific data. Here are some of the vital pieces of evidence. Moon Rocks the Apollo 11 astronauts brought back 47 and a half pounds of lunar rocks and soil samples, which were extensively analyzed by scientists around the world. The composition of these samples is consistent with what we know about the moon's geology, including the absence of water and the presence of certain minerals and elements. Experts have analyzed the photographs and confirm that they are authentic and that they could not have been faked or staged. Physical artifacts. Many physical artifacts were left on the moon by the Apollo 11 astronauts, including the lunar module, the American flag, scientific instruments, and various pieces of equipment. These objects can be seen in high-resolution photographs taken by later Apollo missions and by orbiting satellites, confirming their existence on the lunar surface. Independent verification. The Apollo 11 mission was not just a US government operation but involved cooperation with other countries and organizations around the world. These independent organizations monitored the mission and provided their verification of its success, including tracking the spacecraft and analyzing the data it transmitted. Photographs and video. The Apollo 11 astronauts took thousands of photographs and hours of video footage during their mission, which were transmitted back to Earth in real time. The photographs were taken by the Apollo 11 mission and show detailed images of the lunar surface, including the terrain, rocks, craters, and other features. These images and videos are consistent with what we know about the moon's environment, including the lack of atmosphere and the unique lighting conditions. Scientific Experiments The Apollo 11 astronauts conducted many scientific experiments on the moon's surface, including measuring the moon's seismic activity and magnetic field. The data from these experiments is consistent with what we know about the moon's properties. Footprints The lunar soil has no atmosphere or weather, meaning that the footprints left by the Apollo 11 astronauts should remain on the moon's surface indefinitely. These footprints have been observed in photographs taken by subsequent missions and by orbiting satellites. Testimony from the astronauts Buzz Aldrin, Michael Collins, Neil Armstrong, and the Apollo 11 astronauts and crew have all given extensive interviews and written accounts of their experiences on the moon. These stories are consistent with the physical evidence and scientific data, and they have shown no signs of deception or inconsistency. Audio recordings. The audio recordings captured the conversations between the astronauts and mission control during the Apollo 11 mission. These recordings included detailed descriptions of the mission and the conditions on the moon. The recordings have been analyzed by experts and found to be authentic. Lack of evidence for a conspiracy. Despite decades of investigation and scrutiny by both supporters and skeptics, no evidence has ever been found to support the conspiracy theory that the Apollo 11 landing was fake. 
The technology and resources required to fake such an event simply did not exist in the 1960s, and the logistics of such a conspiracy would be virtually impossible to conceal. Repeated successful missions The fact that the Apollo program included multiple successful manned missions to the moon, including Apollo 11, provides additional evidence of the authenticity of the landing. If the Apollo 11 mission had been a hoax, it is unlikely that subsequent missions would have been successful, given the logistical challenges and risks involved in the moon landing. The fact that multiple missions were able to land on the moon and return safely provides strong evidence that the Apollo 11 mission was genuine. The Apollo 11 landing remains one of the most important achievements in human history. And there is an overwhelming amount of evidence that supports the fact that it did happen. While it is important to question and scrutinize historical events, in the case of the Apollo 11 landing, the evidence is clear. Humanity did indeed land on the moon on July 20, 1969. And there you have it. Let us know in the comments section what you think about the Apollo 11 landing. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new today. And as always, keep exploring.